Hello, good evening. My name is Vadim Demkiv and what I want to show you in the next few minutes is my university project, a labeling tool for the data acquisition um, for the use case of detecting people, but it can also be applied to other fields. So what the tool is actually doing is, or enabling is, it enables us to load an image folder. For this demonstration, I choose the tu tubing and training data set from the cityscapes data. Now we can navigate through these pictures. And the next step, we choose a classification approach. For now, we have just Hawk and SVM. And we can load a pre-classifier if we have prepared one. But for now, what we are doing is um, we are using the default one. Also, we have some configuration options, which, we, which I won't go into detail for now. But um, if we don't have chosen a classifier, pre-classifier, and we click on here, we get a note that the standard talk with default people SVM detector will be used. Now, we take this and what happens next is a thread is started in the background and image for image is processed by this pre-classifier. We also get a count of uh, the de detections and what the classifier is doing it is um, showing us proposals where people could be. And since it's not not a good classifier, at least not for this data domain, we get um, false positives. Now we have some interaction possibilities, which are a left click. With a left click, we can convert um, the bounding boxes from a positive to a negative. We can also, per drag and drop, create new bounding boxes to mark new positives. And now we do this picture for picture, and we gather positives and negatives to use them later on for the training. And as we see here, it is helpful. It is better than nothing. Also, we're getting high quality negatives since uh, the features are similar. Now we do this for actually for the whole data set bar, but now in the in the demonstration, I'd like to show just, just how it looks like to gather a few ones. We can also with a right click delete. Um, bad bounding boxes, well, this for example was bad, we delete it, create a new one, and what we can do now is we can save the detections up to the current frame, which are a bunch of positives and negatives. We can also save all detections, which could be interesting for just getting all the proposals for, uh, from the pre-classifier. But since we interacted with the data, it makes sense to save the detections up to the current frame. Now, we had a folder with 144 images. What the program, what the tool did was it created a detections folder. And in this detections folder, we have a JSON folder in which we have a bunch of data. A bunch of files, we have a JSON file for each image which was processed. Now, if we take a look at the JSON file, we get the dimensions of the image, we get the object class where one is a positive and zero is a negative, and we also get information to the objects, which are X and Y coordinates as well as width and height. Now, when we click on Save Detections, those JSON files are used and um, positives and negatives are extracted from the images. So for now it's coded. When we click on saving detections, we get positives as we see here and negatives as we see here. Now, in the next step, we choose a classification approach. So hog and SVM, and we can click on train and save new classifier. We also have some configuration options, but I won't go into detail in here. Well, we click on train and save new classifier and create a file. So since those are pickle files, we say um, example classifier dot pkl. So it tells us that the images were processed and we should be patient since the training is taking a while. So this can take a couple of seconds and the result is a model, which in this case is a SVM model, which we possibly could load as a pre-classifier in the next step.
So here's our classifier. And well, that's the short demonstration. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. See you again.